On a rugby field on Sydney's northern beaches, the countdown has well and truly begun. Three, two, one, go! Let's go! Drive, 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 right through, right through! It's been a speed right through the line! The Australian women's sevens team has already qualified for Rio, so it doesn't take much to motivate this group. It does feel a little bit surreal, but um, that's a really exciting bit. It is our first Olympics for the sport, and um, you know we're working really hard to put ourselves in that really good position to hopefully succeed there. When the IOC announced that sevens rugby would be included in Rio, the ARU made the women's sport fully professional. That prompted a flood of athletes from other sports who are now refining the brutal art of union. We don't really treat it like a job, we treat it just as fun, we come to training, we do our thing, we work hard but we enjoy the whole experience and you know the competing at the Olympics is just kind of the cherry on the top. And the games are looming large. This one year to go Mark, it's just another one of those milestones that you stop back and think Heavens. Australia's seven gold medals in London was the country's smallest haul since Barcelona in 1992. The current projection for Rio, based on recent world championship performances, is a return to the top five on the medal tally. Fast in. It's not going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination. We'll need 14, 15 plus gold medals, so double the number of gold that we won in London. I don't know of any country that's doubled the number of gold in, within one quad. So I wouldn't say that I am confident of getting top five, but I will say that I'm confident that we will have the opportunity to get to top five. So if we nail all those things, if the sports nail their preparation, we absolutely can get into that top five position. Australian officials head to Rio next week to inspect the facilities. Chef Demission Kitty Chiller believes the city will be ready just. It's going to go down to the wire. Um, they cannot afford to take their foot off the pedal. There's a lot of pressure on them. There's a lot of oversight from the IOC on their preparations. So it will be ready, but it'll be close. The biggest problem, it seems, will be in the water. Rio's Guanabara Bay is full of debris, and if things don't improve, the Olympic sailors, open water swimmers and canoeists could find the going tough. The second aspect for the problem for water pollution is the actual water quality and the very high levels of, of raw sewerage basically in the water. The organising committee promised that they'd clean that up by 80% in their big documents. They've since revised that to 60%. They seem to be discovering new bacteria and viruses in the water every day. All we can do, we know that, and we have the best health and hygiene protocols and guidelines in place to ensure that our athletes are as safe as possible. There are no such problems for the women's rugby team. Their feet are firmly on the ground, but their sights are set high. We're not going there just to enjoy the experience. Like we're going there to win and we're going there to win gold. This time.